The Buddha said that a sign of a good person is gratitude. You appreciate the help that's been given to you. It means you appreciate goodness. And when you appreciate goodness, it means you're more likely to do good. You realize how this is how the world stays together. I mean, there's so much that's trying to drive the world apart. It's good that we think of what pulls us together, is realizing that we live here dependent on the goodness of a lot of people. If you open your eyes, look around you. Everything here was given by somebody. The food we have today was provided by other people, either the food itself or the money to buy the food, so that we can practice. As the Buddha said, one of the motivations for practicing is that if you attain the highest attainments, there's a lot of merit for the people who supported you. So this is your gift to them, is by practicing. When you think in those ways, it's not just you sitting here looking at your breath. There are people who want you to be sitting here looking at your breath. It's part of a group effort. So take advantage of the fact that it's today where there are not too many chores to do, aside from looking after the drainage system in the road to make sure that things don't get flooded. And chores inside. Chores outside will have to wait for a while. Most importantly, the chores inside the mind. Make sure those get taken care of. And think of it as a goodness that spreads around. The goodness of the world is measured in terms of wealth, status, praise, pleasure. That's the sort of thing where one side gains and the other side loses. Or the happiness that comes from the practice, from being generous and being virtuous, from meditating. That spreads around. It erases boundaries. And your way of happiness actually helps the happiness of the rest of the world. There's so many other types of happiness that actually make life hard for the rest of the world. So focus on this. The Buddha found that this is one way of finding happiness that doesn't have to take anything away from anyone else. Remember that vision he had of the world being like a stream drying up, and the fishes were fighting one another over the water in the stream. They're all going to end up dying anyhow. He looked around, he couldn't see any place in the world that wasn't already laid claim to. Well, that has to do with worldly wealth. Nobody lays claim to generosity. Nobody lays claim to virtue. Nobody lays claim to meditating. You can do these things. You don't have to fight other people off. So here the door is wide open to find a happiness that harms nobody. It doesn't require any taking away from anyone else. We live here to totally dependent on voluntary gifts. So make a voluntary offering of your meditation as a way of doing honor to those gifts.